All right. So welcome to our week one work group session. <laughs> we, uh, we've been talking a little bit about master lists and how to sort those lists and how to uh, not prejudge those lists with your fat goggles on. We all do that, by the way. So if you have your fat goggles on, welcome to the fat goggle club, right? But we also have the opportunity to take them off once we're aware that those fat goggles are on, okay? So give yourself a break. Go ahead and just uh, give yourself a nice pass and then learn to just take those goggles off. We also learned that once we have our list, we're gonna sort it. We're gonna sort it the people that are the doers, right? The number ones, right? So who's the people that get stuff done and are you wanna be around? You love these people. Those are your hot, like really intentional lists. And Lonnie talked about having that list. If it's more than 20, it's probably gonna be tough to manage, right? So you can go over that list of 20. Now you might have some people that are not in that top 20 that maybe you're still on your mind that you want to invite over and maybe you can warm up over time. And, uh, and then um, we talked about salting your list. And uh, so that's starting conversations, asking questions, listening. I think the L is a capital L for some reason, right? Some of us, we have two ears and one mouth. Um, so think about that. Listen, listen, ask another question, get clarification, get more detail. And then if we can help them, we might thank them right at the moment and offer to help later. Or we might uh, tell them how that we can help them or we might ask them to join us or partner with us. So I want to take a minute here as we get started. We're going to start working on our list, but I want to, uh, some of you I'm sure have some questions or maybe a, an aha moment. And so if you can go into your raising your hand, if you have something, somebody already has their hand raised. And so Joe, I'm going to unmute you. Joe Irwin. Oh, you don't. Okay. No. Oh, well, you did an awesome job of raising your hand. She did. She did earlier. I think you did earlier, didn't you, Joe? Yes. Yeah. You Do you have something? Go ahead. What did you have yeah. to offer? Does it make sense? No, I, I, I actually, um, I've been in boot camp now. I think this is my third time, maybe fourth. But um, when you hear things over and over again, there's reason for that. And I, I, it's really sticking to me now about the salt and the Ford and having conversations. And I know we're not talking about today, but the three, three, and three, um, just doing it, getting mm -hmm. out there and doing it. And, Maybe it's not the best that I'm doing every day, but I'm doing it regardless every day. Mm -hmm. And repetition um, is where it's at. Yep. So thank you for being patient and doing this again with us because I'm getting it. And I'm doing my notes. I got my notebook. Look at you. <laughs> Great job. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thank you. You know, we sometimes if you didn't hear it the first time, you got to maybe listen in a second time. Maybe yep. third time. When I'm learning like a song lyrics or I'm memorizing something, I have to listen to it more than once. So thank you for coming back. Come back as often as you can and let's help a bunch of people, right? Absolutely. Thanks. All right, so we got Debbie Lunst. I'll unmute you. Oh, uh, there you are. Okay, Debbie, go for it. Um, I just, the aha, the aha moment I had is about doing is the acknowledgement that what I've been doing with the three, three and three is making all these new friends and doing that list and looking it over every day will remind me why I pick that person. Mm -hmm. And also I am picking people based on and making my posts public based on figuring that they will have a friend that will like what they were saying, the three, you might have friend of three or a three or a four but that'll lead you to a one or a two. Mm. And, you know, that's been in the back of my mind. So hearing that just was like, yes, you know, I'm thinking this right. So yep. that You're was doing great. Yeah. Debbie's been growing so great. Uh, so massively lately and so many new skills. Um, we are going to be talking about a concept. That's one of the things that we added to this boot camp called the three, three, three. So if you don't know what that means, or you're not familiar with it, um, the next training, that we do boot camp week two, um, uh, we'll be talking about that. So let's see here, Carla, uh, go ahead and I unmuted you. Go ahead, Carla Hurd. Well, I just had one, no, I have one number one client. Last week I was taking her a uh, bottle of home can soup because she had sprained her ankle. And she's just a friend. 
And um, <laughs> I told her that I had lost 58 pounds and that I was feeling good. And she said, how'd you do it? And I told her. And she said, now, what program is this? And I said, Optavia. And it's not a diet. It's a health program. She said, I want to do it. Do you want me to go get my computer right now? And I was shocked. <laughs> she's the only one that I've had that's done this. But she's my number one on my list. And I want to find more people like that. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, that's perfect. Thank you, Carla. All right, Eileen, I'll unmute you. <laughs> Oh, I just wanted to tell you that uh, I want to thank you guys for this is probably either my second or third boot camp. And um, I don't know about the rest of every uh, the rest of you guys, but um, I've been kind of discouraged lately. And um, so coming to a boot camp like this is just you just want to jump out of out of your laziness or you know discouragement and just say wow i mean there's a formula to this and i'm sure there's several formulas but i loved how um that gentleman was talking about um handling like 20 at a time that you know versus like hundreds because i i did make a huge list and it, it is overwhelming so i like that and it's just encouraging to hear um what the possibilities are and and and, and the organization of it um, putting things, putting everybody into like a one, two, three, four group. Um, that was just inspiring. I'm, mm -hmm. I, I'm really excited and looking forward to putting it to work. Good job, Eileen. So glad to have you. What's neat here, here too, is that um, I love that you keep coming back because um, you keep wanting to learn more and you want to um, grow. And the reality is, is that hopefully those of you that's your second or third boot camp we might be making a little nuanced tweaks, but the recipes hasn't changed, right? So I want, I want that's intentional. And um, uh, Jo said, um, she said, uh, it's taken me a while for, it to, for me to catch it. We're not changing the training, right? We have the same sequence of events. Um, the first two weeks are all related to pre-client, relationship building, talking, because we're in the relationship business. And then after the first two weeks, which is all pre-client, then we move into now we have clients. How do we, how do we, how we, how we have interest? And then how do we find out specifically what they need? And then we move on to how we're going to take care of them through their first month. And uh, by the end of the boot camp, if any of you are, haven't ever been senior coach, if you follow these steps, you'll be senior coach. If you take the actions, you'll have your first five clients. You will. And if you've been senior coach again, we all should go senior coach no matter where we are, which means we have five new people that we are now working with. That's the goal of this boot camp. And bl believe it or not, going senior coach over and over again leads to presidential, leads to hundreds of lives being changed. So... All right. Um, looks like we don't. Oh, Becky, you had your real hand up, but not your virtual hand. Did you have something you wanted to say? I didn't want to miss you. You talking about me? Yeah. Hi, Becky. <laughs> I was just going to encourage Carla. Uh, there is a lady named um, Kim, um, Kim Fisk. I've heard of her. And she talks about credit card throwers. So those are people that it's really a joy when we get those. And we're wondering, we're all wondering, why doesn't everybody do this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they see what it did for me, right? But, you know, but most of them won't be that. So don't be discouraged. Just most of people, I mean, I think it took several touches for me to call. And probably most of us are like that. And most of my clients, I see what I learned from going to events and stuff like that is it takes about you never hardly ever get a first touch person. It's going to be more five, six, ten. I mean, a pe people literally saw my presentation and then a year later called me. Mm -hmm. So everybody's different and never take anything personally and never get discouraged. Eileen, you're doing good work and you're representing. So that's what I have learned in the five years I've been doing this is just keep um, persevering. I just learned that you're an encourager, Becky. <laughs> what's up 
as well my health coach. <laughs> That's right. So here's a little, so here's just a little impromptu thing we're going to get. We're going to get a good 40, 40 minutes of working our list and building our list and that kind of stuff. We may even salt a few people, right? Not assault, salt. They're different people. So um, as a show of hands, your actual real hand, because I know everyone knows how to use these. And so this is raising your hand. This is putting your hand down. Okay, you guys got that. So what we're going to do is if you, um, I know minimally everybody was contacted once, right? And if you said yes on your first time, raise your hand. Okay, so we had two, three people, four, five. Okay, if it took you two times, you know, two times, right? Um, who had to be, who, who heard about this more than five times before they said yes. That's me, by the way. More than five times, right? How about six, seven, or eight times? Yep, still have some hands up. Nine times? Yeah, Ten, too many to count over and over. Yeah, so okay, yep. That's the majority. The statistics say that you have to connect with somebody. When you connect with them the first time, there's like a 5% chance. Now that means it's not zero. There's still five. If they're need is high and the opportunity arises and you have that magical time, they'll throw their credit card at you and boom, you get going, right? But the stats are that um, on your ninth time of not going through the, the trilogy, the program, but ninth time of connecting, salting, you have a 95% chance that they're going to do what you do. Nine times. I want to ask you guys, who's got the stamina for working with that 20, that 20 list and going nine or 10 times, right? Do those people matter enough to go nine or 10 times? Hey, Craig. Yep. So I want to, I want to, I want to give two examples here mm -hmm. uh, of continuing building the relationships and going a lot of times <laughs> and also uh, continuing the process. So, so when I first got involved uh, with my dad, we had a, uh, a kiosk at the mall and uh, I don't recommend people go and get kiosk. Okay. But this is what we had. And we ended up uh, spending a few thousand dollars on this kiosk, uh, you know, to, to, to have it go for, I think it was a few months. I think it might've been more than that. But we had maybe a few clients at best that we got from this kiosk. Now, most people would be like, oh my gosh, that was a total waste of money. And uh, we ended up getting one client, we lost some weight, that um, shared it with their, his pastor or his uh, people at the church. Sorry, the people at the church. I think it was a pastor too at the time. And then they ended up sharing it with somebody else. And that ended up leading to Miller's, which ended up leading to you. So, uh, that was a good pay. It was a good payoff for us. But let me let me tell you what how long that took. That took a few years, years, not just a few days. Now I, I give you another example. I was uh, at a at a at a gym one time, and and I was working with uh, working out with a, a a trainer, and talk about intimidation. There was a guy. There was a guy that was working out every time I went there, and he was just just buff, you know, just built, you know, like a rock. And here I am just trying to, you know, do a few, you know, do a few bench presses. And, uh, and I, and I, I don't care. I talked to him a little bit and, and we started talking about business and it took me, I think three or four times before he, you know, he finally said, and I think it was like six months later, he said, he said, Hey, why don't you come talk to my wife? Cause we talked business and he told me what he did. And then I told him what I did and all that, that led to a presidential. And there are other examples I can, I can stay to, but this is the point. The point is follow up is the key to everything and continuing to build the relationships. And some people do take 10 times. Some people take 20 times. It's, but you, but one thing's very important too. Don't spin your wills with people that are not going to do it. I mean, don't spin your wills, but keep on building the relationships. So don't get stuck on one person. There's a lot of people out there to talk to. Yep. 
Thank you. Yeah. And what's interesting is, you know, how many people become presidential? Well, more and more, uh, right? But it's still out of the amount of people. You got to find the people that are that are ready, you know, and that, um, you know, that want to do it. So uh, the um, uh, example that I had uh, was the Preston box, right? So I had a lady who never even became senior coach. She was a realtor. She introduced me to Alex McMillan. Some of you know Alex. He's the biker guy on the old brochure. We just call him the biker guy. Anyway, Alex then had a relationship with Sam and Harold Prestonbach, right? And then, I mean, can you imagine Sam and Harold Prestonbach? Like, they're now integrated presidentials. And they came through someone who never did anything. And she, she ended up leaving the practice um, she never got to her healthy weight, still, still is challenged with her weight. And, um, but she led me to Alex and then Alex had a relationship with the Preston box and the Preston box have built many, many amazing relationships. So you never know who someone, you know, is going to work with. And so, and, and Craig, what, on both those examples of mine and yours, and I'm sure that people have examples too. Um, you didn't just talk to a few people. No, I helped, a, I helped hundreds of people in the meantime. Exactly. Yep, yep. So I put two documents in the chat window, and I want you to click on the first one. If you're not part of our Facebook group, you want to click on that and ask to be entered into our Facebook group, our boot camp Facebook group. If you're already there, don't worry. Don't need to click on it. The second one is we call it a memory jogger. And it's a way to jog your memory. And there's a number of ways you can jog your memory. Because if I asked you right now, um, who do you know that is, that is not as healthy as they want to be and is looking for help? You'd go, uh, I don't know. So what we can do is we can go through this. And we are, this is a way to make a list first and then sort it, right? And so you might just work through some of these. Who's your florist? I, here's an example. I had a... Um, a guy that delivers, he's, he comes in a brown truck regularly and he has a brown um, outfit on. Well, I just learned his name yesterday. His name's Scott. Right, he's my UPS guy. And he's been delivering me packages for a while and I just would wave at him and say thanks. Well, last week I said, I don't even think I know your name. What's your name? He's like Scott. I said, hey, Scott, thanks for bringing me all my packages. Now, next time I see him, I might stop him for a little bit or I might invite him to something I'm doing. You know, it turns out my UPS driver needs to lose about 200 pounds. Right. But what if my UPS driver was fit? Right. Like, like David Miller, UPS and fit <laughs> and also amazing. Right. So think about that. Who's your mailman? Who's your landscaper? My landscaper's on my list. Right. Um, uh, your physician, right? Everybody has a doctor. By the way, each one of your clients has a doctor too. Do you know your doctor, their doctor's name? Because you're helping them do things they can't. Have you thought about that? Right? Um, uh, accountant, uh, pharmacist, veterinarian, right? So w if you start with these lists and get these names down, and then you start to salt that list, you're gonna, I've started a conversation now with these people. I'm, I, I'm asking them one question. What's your name? That's always a great question to start with, by the way. That, that, that second document, people need to uh, copy it right now if it's off the phone or whatever because that is so powerful. I mean, really, that, that, it, it's that memory jogger. It's, it's, it's yeah, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I'm going to share my screen. Um, so what you do with the memory jogger is um, – when you click on that link there, uh, it takes you to this window here, but let me close that up. So you click on that link, it's gonna bring you to this page here, right? And then in the top right corner, see this little arrow that has a line under it? If you click that, it's gonna download it to your computer. I will post this link on the Facebook page. That's why you make, make sure you're in the Facebook page or our, our secret group. Ooh, it's secret. Um, so you're going to click that, you're going to download it, and then you're going to be able to use that in the future. And you're going to start getting, jogging your memory and looking for getting names down and then sorting those names. All right. 
So those are a couple of activities that we're going to do. So make sure you've requested to be in the Facebook group, download that memory jogger. And let's say that, you know, we're going to, we're going to boil our list down to 20. That's going to be our hot number one list like Lonnie taught us. But we might have a bigger list that is our master list. It's not the list that goes in our pocket, like Lonnie said. But there's going to be a list out there that we're going to, that we're going to boil down to 20, you know. And uh, you may have to salt those people a little bit to see if they are ones, if they are doers. Maybe you don't know. All right, so we're going to um, jump into a work session here, and let's see how many people uh, we can get, you know, on our list, then we can sort it. Now, one of the things that I've done, for those of you that like spreadsheets, the nice thing about using a computer, and if I lost some of you at this point, it's okay. There's paper. But for those of you that, that want to be able to sort really easily, I created a spreadsheet. And I had these, these are the columns I had at the top. The first one, are you ready for it? Name. I know that seems obvious probably, but I started with name. And then the second one um, <coughs> was one through four. <laughs> right? You know what that is, right? And then I did a list as to whether they have, um, um, healthy healthy mind finances so it's either an f uh, a m or an h right healthy body healthy mind healthy finances so i guess it'd be b f or or m right and so that way i kind of can categorize them as is and i can sort and then you might might have their phone number um you might have their email i don't know but so now you can get these names down there um, maybe a, another one is how you know them, if they're your, a physician or if they're a friend or they're whatever. And then you can go through and you can resort that list as you're categorizing. Some people you may think are a, a one, they turn out to be a four, right? So then you can change that number and resort your list. Maybe you have a column for people that are local versus people that are not local. Hey, so great. if you have a healthy happy hour at your house, you're probably going to sort your list for people that are local. So you can add new columns and you can resort your list. And then out of those lists, you're going to take your top 20, your 20 ones, 20 ones, and you might put that on a piece of paper and stick it in your pocket. What if you put it on your phone as your lock screen? So every time you unlock your phone, there are those names are. So there's just a couple hey, of ideas. Hey, Craig, one thing, one thing real quick, too. Oh, hi, Troy. Welcome to yeah, the game. Whatever. Um, one thing is, too, is as you are thinking of your list of people, um, they say they average, we know, at least 600 people. And I know people think about that and they go, I don't know, 600 people. But think about the time you were born up till this point, right? Teachers, like, like kind of Craig was saying, dentist, doctor. I mean, there's so many people, uh, people at the grocery store that work there that you go every day or every other day or twice a week. I mean, think about the places you go um, on a weekly basis and the people you encounter. Maybe it's weekly. Maybe it's only monthly. So, you know, there, there's a lot of people you know, you just think, well, I don't want to put them down because... Yeah. Remember, because they have the, the, we have our weight loss goggles on. So I mean, we're we're thinking of everybody. Mm -hmm. So we're not just thinking of just specific individuals. And mm -hmm. then you sort through using that list that my dad was talking about, or the 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 ones, the twos, the threes, the fours. Think about the that. So, and it doesn't mean we can't help fours. It just means probably for potential coaches, they might not be on that list of fours. Or, you know, they might be, they might be on the list of fours instead well, of on the list of one. A four is someone that doesn't want it. Right. Right. They won't do it. So we we'll probably want to, we, we want to, we want to filter out or sort out the fours and the threes are should do it and they may turn into twos. Right. Right. You can do it. Well, so, and, and, and you know what, even, even Craig, even the fours, even I think about that fours or threes, um, I've had some fours that have done it. It's taken me a while and persistence, right? But it's probably not my best time that I was spent, right? right? 
And we're not saying they have no value. What I'm saying is if you try to help me and I don't want your help, think about them apples. So I'm going to respect your no and I'm going to keep loving on you, right? I'm going to keep in, um, you know, commenting on stuff on Facebook so you can keep seeing my healthy posts and my before and afters and the people that I'm hanging around because that might be a little ray of light. So we got 25 minutes here that we're going to lean into it. We're going to start with our lists and we'll, we'll, um, we'll come back together here at, at five till. This is the piece of our okay. training that is very, very valuable where we actually do the work right now, right? Right now. And if those of you had to leave early, of course, you're already gone, so you're not hearing this, but you got an encore presentation of this work group, not the training, but the work group on Tuesday morning at 7, okay? And so um, I'm going to start the timer, and you guys can put yourself on mute, and I just want to encourage you, lean into this. Do this now. Don't put off till later today or tomorrow what you can do right now, okay? Go. Yes, sir. I'm just going to give you guys just a little bit. So what we're doing right now, sorry, Reed, I was in another room. Um, you're making your lists and you're sorting it um, based upon the one through four rough idea. And then uh, the, the next step, if you've never been senior coach, after you have your list, you, you know, get your 20 names you're going to be calling your mentor and you're going to be walking through each one of those names to come up with a, a strategy. How do you know them? How can you connect with them? What are you going to do? Because if you reach out and start talking to those people, but you don't have the vocabulary yet, um, it might not, you might not connect with them. Um, you might just start telling them all about the program and you forgot your salt and you forgot your Ford and you forgot everything. Cause you're just like, I want to help you. Let me right? So making your list. And then the next step is going to be calling your mentor and going through that list. And then we're going to, um, we're going to start engaging with those people. Um, some of those you'll engage with them right away, uh, but make sure you get with your mentor and start salting. We'll be back here in a few more minutes, about 17 minutes. All right, guys, we've got about um, seven minutes left for our, our work group session. Um, I'd like actually uh, to do a little bit of um, ahas or takeaways and have you guys share um, what if you've had like, who didn't see that before or doing this for reals. <gasps> I, had, I connected some dots. I thought of somebody. So if you guys want to raise your hand. And I can call on you and then make sure that while you guys are queuing up <coughs> to give us some feedback, this is a definitely a, um, a group discussion. These, these boot camps and work groups we do together. So make sure as you got your list is number one. Number two is that you uh, take a photo, send it to your mentor. That does two things. It's accountability so your mentor knows, ah, 
you're taking action, right? It also is a little accountability for you. If your mentor doesn't get your list, we'll just assume you didn't make one. And then we'll have to talk about why didn't you make one? What's in the way? And then the third is schedule a time. If you didn't make your list, schedule a time and talk with your mentor about why you're afraid of making a list, what your concepts are. And if you do have a list, and after you send it to them, schedule a time to talk about those people and strategize, how can I connect with these people? Because you may not, just because you have a name on a list, you might not know how to talk to them. You might not want to call them and say, hi, friend, are you still fat? Right, probably that may be not a good, just thinking, I don't know. Depends how well you know them, I guess, but maybe want to rethink that one. So first person, Christina Mickelson. I'm going to unmute you. Go ahead, Christina. Hi. Hi. Michael. It's Michelson. Michelson. What's happening? Yeah. You changed your name on me. Okay, that's okay. I got it. <laughs> no, it's the same. <laughs> I'm teasing you. I just don't know how to say it. Go ahead. Um, that's okay. I made my list, but um, I can't take a picture with my iPhone So, because um, it's full. So I tried, but I did... Um, contact my uh one of my mentors i think i contacted both of them i'm not sure but i'm not getting any response so okay. i'm wondering if maybe they're having problems with the chat thing in mm -hmm. the um on this or not because yeah, i've actually no, never chat used chat them it. like on facebook messenger or chat them in a text message and maybe your mentors are on here maybe your mentors are not on here i'm not sure but I, if they're they're on here. It's they're on Troy. Here. Right. And... <laughs> I don't know about you, but I tend to use Facebook. I'm, I'm here. Wait a minute. I'm here. I There's know you're me. here, but I didn't get a response from you. That's or okay. um, I'm, there I'm you are. It did, yeah, and maybe it didn't go through because I just looked at the chat and it didn't it didn't go through yet. So yeah, yeah it, I've never We've used had, that chat. Yeah, Messenger has so, been been kind of weird this morning, here. Greg. Um, go ahead and it, what I tend to do is if it's. I use Facebook Messenger for business related things there you are. and personal, <laughs> right? Yeah. And I tend to use text messaging just for personal, unless they don't have Facebook Messenger. So you may yeah. decide to send these things in Facebook Messenger if you can, but um, okay. send them a message in Facebook Messenger because once Zoom closes, all of those chats go away. So if you've mm -hmm. messaged your mentor in Facebook, it stays. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Well, and I can zoom with them later on too. I mean, and then show them my. Yeah, they're not my shy. List. Yep. I did Good make a job. list. <laughs> Look at you. Oh man, Christina, thank you for Love caring it. about all Love those it. people and doing this activity. Yep. Oh yeah, definitely. I'll be here. Good job, Janet. You're up. Hi. Hi. How are you? It's it's just so cool. I'm just I get so much out of this, but mine. My list, um, one of mine is actually on this call. So my number one person <laughs> who right. isn't a coach yet, but she knows who she is and she okay. will be a coach this afternoon. So, um, but what this, my aha on that, I just keep getting this. And, and it also Dave Blanchard, I had that little Zoom with him this week, which was unreal. And um, I think for me is I always want to help everybody because that's my passion. I just want to help, help, help. But I keep hearing over and over again, it's not who I want to help, it's if they want help. And for me, I keep getting that aha over and over again. So now I've taken my one list that has several hundred people on it, really, and I've just kind of taken them just down to four or five. And they're the ones who are actually, some of them are participating on this. You know, some of them are coaches, and I want to be there to help them grow to where they want to go. It's not all clients, it's, you know going mm -hmm. both ways for me, but I just thank you that you keep bringing that out for me, that it's not who I want to change their life. It's if they want their life changed. So yep. thank you for that. You're welcome. So take your pen out and write down these, these um, three or four words. My wife tells me this all the time. Okay. Work with the willing. Amen. Work with the willing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. My wife tells me all the time because I complain about the non willing all the time. Yeah. And she's like, just work with the willing. How about you do that? So Absolutely. thank you. All right, Steve, you're up. Yeah. So my big takeaway is, um, you know, I've been hearing these things a lot. Uh, I kind of try to engage on the fringes 
with certain mentors and how they were teaching their different groups and things like that. But I've never actually engaged in the boot camps and things. Um, so when I was putting the list and thinking of people, there was a lot of people that came to mind that I had thought about previously, but never bothered to put on the list and never bothered to contact. So I think kind of just the, the, the idea of getting into the, the boot camp and getting engaged and having that accountability and making me set aside time to sit down and actually put them on a list and then take a next step and, and do the sorting and, and the next step. Um, even though I've been doing this a long time, it's just amazing how many people I've missed that I should have been already been talking to. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah. If they're not on a list, you'll forget about them until you don't. But if you put them on the list, you just read your list. Oh, there they are again. It's like right. a break. Someone said that, um, thank you, by the way, um, Steve, uh, work with the willing. Work with the willing. Um, it might be winners. Work with the winners. But work, work with the willing. You know, people that want what you have. Now, here's the deal. How do you know if someone's a four or a one? You might have to start a conversation. You might have to ask some questions. How's your family? Hey, what do you do for work? What do you love about it? So you're going to be salting those lists, and the salting could be the sorting process. You might think people, someone's a one, but they might be a four. You might think Sims a four and not be a one. That's why we're making our master list, and then we're going to salt. We're going to salt it so that list becomes quite savory. One more person, Leanne Page. You are going to bring us home. You are unmuted. Hello there. Hi. It's been a great time to be on the Zoom today. I just, I wanted to tell you a couple things. Um, I ran across my original list and um, I went over it and it was just shocking how many people on that list are now my clients. And um, I, I didn't think that they would happen, but it did just because it's written down. Mm -hmm. And this time I went through and I looked at it differently. And I, the way I want it to work out is people that will be uh, leaders. And um, I, so I'm just really happy about this. I've learned a lot today. I'm glad I was here. Oh, good. Thank you, Leanne, for showing up. Thank you for making that list. Think of how thankful those people that you put on that list originally, that now their lives are being influenced and so is yours by the fact that you wrote their name down. Way to go. That's true. Mm -hmm. Way to go. All right, guys. So uh, we have an encore presentation of our work group session uh, on Tuesday at 7. We'll discuss a little bit about the list. Maybe some of you that have done some salting between now and Tuesday. And uh, we'll, keep, uh, we'll keep getting after it. So enjoy your Saturday. Um, make sure you take that photo send it through Facebook or send it through a um, text message, whatever, to your mentor and schedule a time to go over that list. This will be some of the best time you could do uh, for actually caring and caring about people. All right, guys. See you next time. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Troy. And thank you, Lonnie, all with the last name of Drollinger. We'll see you guys next time.